CustomTacticals.com here, and uh, we're looking at a Matt Cucciara um, Sirocco folder. And this guy uh, is is a unique Sirocco. It's from it's from the earlier runs, which have a slightly different blade shape, um, as you can see. Um, this is a small Sirocco um, with the fizz treatment that that uh, made him at, uh, uh, made him so famous in the beginning. Um, he does more carved work now, which is also really, really well done. Um, a little bit more expensive, uh, but fantastic stuff. Um, the uh, liners, uh, or sorry, the, the handles and the frame on this one has been heat treated, or sorry, heat colored to sort of a purple um, that's not really visible from there. And the blade is a uh, Devin Thomas basket weave, and the blade on this one is really thick. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually thicker than the handle slabs are. And and uh, in comparison with the with some other knives like the the Strider um, ARs, it's the same th same thickness as an AR, which is pretty damn thick. Um, the the Sirocco has a a really really nice uh, recurve blade that that uh, that Matt really really likes to do. He well, A lot of his knives are recurves and um, he does some really cool grinds with them. Um, the back here is uh, spacers on the end. Uh, this one doesn't have one of his carved TI clips which I kind of regret not doing. I mean I can always add one afterwards but uh, Matt does these fantastic carved titanium pocket clips that go really really well with, uh, with his knives. Um, I think they're about fifty or fifty to seventy-five dollars extra to have one of those made, but they really add something to the knife. Um, this one only has the single-sided thumb stud um, with the Kushara uh, signature there. Um, really, really nice knife. The size on this one is about three and a quarter inches. Just over three and a quarter, and that's the small Sirocco. The large one, I think, is closer to four, maybe three and seven eighths or so for blade length. But uh, for me, this is a good size. So, um, hope you enjoy this review, and uh, see you later, guys.